Hey, I am John Barker. Welcome back to another episode of Here to Record Show and Tell. In today's episode, I want to just uh, answer a question that I got from someone through Facebook, which was what I use my Latte Panda for and can it be used as a playback device? Now, I have discussed before about what I use the Latte Panda for. Um, first of all, the Latte Panda, I should tell you, is um, this little uh, one, uh, one board computer. Um, it integrates with Arduino, it actually has an Arduino. Arduino built into it, but um, in this case, it's just that single chip board. You can see it there in someone's hand, but basically, it's just a one uh, small little board. Um, it's about this size, and um, it sits in my in my uh, case here. I personally use it for a live streaming break thing. Uh, you can check out that video up here, um, but it's kind of like an overlay showing a website and some information during a live stream. You might have watched that before, but in this video, I want to tackle the uh, the thought of playback with this uh, Latte Panda computer and with any small, um, inexpensive uh, Windows 10 computer. They should all uh, they all have often different chipsets, but they're not too far from each other. So it'll give you a general idea of whether or not you can use those small computers for uh, playback devices during a presentation or a live stream if you want to watch a video or play a video of some sort. Uh, so that's kind of the, where we're starting and um, I just want to show you a little bit about the the setup that I have. So I'll be using VLC for most of my things um, and I have a few different versions of the video file on my computer here. Uh, this is a MOVs and their 720p, a second variation of the 720p video and then a 1080p version. Like I say, MOVs, H.264s, uh, that's what I wanted to try out. And my testing was it's pretty hard to get a video that will play perfectly if you do a high quality version so you'll have to at least go down to 720p or a really low quality version 1080p um, for my uses I have this 1080p version here let me just open that up with um, VLC and you'll see what the issue is I think it was about 60 megs a second this video and there you can see it's already um, it's already froze. It's already locked up on that screen. So that's not useful in any way, obviously. Um, so your next option would be to bring that down to a really low quality version of the 1080p version, or you can go for a 720p um, encode of the same video. So this is a MOV 720p H.264, and you can see um, it plays a little bit better. It's um, very jumpy. It's frozen there, it's gone all weird and green. It's uh, loads, got loads of issues. So these small little chipsets just don't play back video, um, that high quality video like this very well. This is about uh, 40, 50 megs a second um, video encoding, so it, it just won't work. And then if you just push it a little bit further, so what I tend to do for my re-encoding of videos is bring them into, um, MPEG Stream Clip. If you don't know what MPEG Stream Clip is, you can find a link below. I don't think it's actually um, updated much anymore, but if at all anymore, but it's still great for making all sorts of different quality versions of um, videos. I use it all the time to make a bunch of different quality versions of videos. Um, but what I took it into MPEG Stream Clip and made an MOV 720p at 50% of the quality. So what you're looking at here is what ended up being about a five to six meg per second version of that file. And if I open it up in VLC, there's a, there was a little jump there because I was um, putting it full screen. But what you can see here is it's playing, playing back pretty flawlessly. Um, there isn't that weird uh, pixelation and uh, degradation of the image. It's playing back really nicely. Let me just go full screen again on it. And you can see there, so this, this is a good example of where during a conference or an event, um, I am the speaker and I'm talking to you and then I say, okay, let's roll that video. And then we cut to this video playing or um, whatever the case may be. But I think it's a pretty good working example of what you have to do. I think that's definitely usable quality. Um, it looks great. It's playing back nicely. You wouldn't necessarily know that it's a low quality version of that of that footage and um, you can always come in on your edit and you can put in a better quality version if you want but I'm in no way saying that this is the best uh, the best you can get for uh, for playback but it'll it'll certainly it'll certainly work nicely if you are willing to spend the time compressing footage down to a, a, a lower bit rate and um, 
really making sure that things work before you do it. One more thing I wanted to add then, just to um, finish it off then. So let's say you've got your footage down to that nice low, you know, 50%, maybe even lower quality version of, um, of your playback and you're ready to roll. Whenever you jump into VLC, you'll see that, um, I'll just pause that for a second. You'll see that there's menus on the full screen version and there's um, the big play button on the top right and the pause button. You don't want any of that stuff, obviously, because you don't want to see the controls. You want to be a full, nice full screen video. So if you head into the, um, I believe it's the tools option, and then you go to uh, preferences for VLC, let that load up. And I can go in now, and there are a few important things to uncheck. So you want to uncheck that show controls in full screen mode. And that will obviously do what it says, show, take away all the controls for full screen mode. And then I would go over to subtitles and on screen display options. And then you want to turn off the on screen display. Um, so that will, as you can see there, it'll display messages, which is basically the name of the name of the file. You'll often see that in VLC. It'll say the name of the file while it plays the video. So if I save that and go full screen now, the only thing that I need to hide is my mouse, which will go away in a few seconds. And I can press the space bar and you can see there that the controls don't come up anymore and the, uh, the big pause and play on the top right have gone now. So I could easily um, put this video back to the start again. Let me do that. Go full screen. See, it wants to play automatically. That's hard. Go back to the start again full screen, and then let my mouse disappear. Okay, so this is the presentation, and here is a video um, to watch. So I will just go over to that screen, and then press my space bar, and I'm able to play back that video. And that's kind of how it works, and uh, that's how you make it uh, playback with a low power PC um, using VLC and turning off all the options. Like I said, you will need to really step down the quality of that, um, of that footage, if you put in a big, large 1080p file, it's just not gonna play back on those small little chipsets. But if you really crank down the quality and bring it right down to a usable level of quality, then that will definitely work for your, uh, for your purposes. Hopefully you find that useful. Um, if you have any more questions about this kind of mini PCs in your uh, switching rack, um, then let me know and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye bye.